<laughs> Hello. Hey guys. Supreme being. Supreme being. <laughs> we don't even know if anyone is going to appear. They will take their time. It's it's not the new year yet here. We are expecting it. We had a we had a nice dinner and we are just chilling and we have been planning to um to come live but uh, <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to live by plan so we didn't announce it and we just left it like this um as a surprise <laughs> yes and uh it will be nice to give a different view of how we how we are you know not us you as well and uh, it's very cool happy There's... new year to those of happy you that uh, you already met the new 2022 it's so nice and <laughs> huh? go ahead you wanted to say something we are, uh, you know, we are always saying. So, but I want to say, we want to say something uh, about that uh, your twin flame knows. She just knows. Uh, or he. Or, yeah, but when we say, yeah, I said she, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your twin flame knows. Ah, I just wanted to say something because... I'm Portuguese and I always make, uh, I have a channel in Portuguese and I transitioned here so we always put subtitles for anyone who speaks and uh, I just wanted to say a few words in Portuguese and then we'll continue in English. Só queria dizer para todas as almas que, que aparecer aqui no canal, uh, quando a live terminar vai, haver, vai estar uh, legendado para você ver e depois não há problema nenhum. Okay, so, <laughs> so I wanted to say that uh, this is all, it is actually something that it's just, it's magical. It happened since the very, the very beginning of our uh, mm -hmm. meeting and your meeting as well, you and your uh, twin flame. And uh, it's actually probably the most magical part of the twin flame connection uh because uh, i don't know if they hear me they should Boys. okay um because uh it is very common that uh i like that you're close <laughs> me too when twin flames are finally meeting and uh, we start to receive messages for each other rather than for ourselves and that's where the knowing comes so she will know for him and he will know for her what is the best or what is to happen or what is going on where is the problem what is the issue so you yourself will have difficulty knowing but your twin flame will know better. Mm -hmm. She knows or he knows everything and just there's just nothing else to do. There's you don't need to take uh, to ask anyone around like what is going on and why is this happening? You guys just know everything. So it's just a matter of time for you guys to click and uh, to help each other. And if there's, uh, you know, challenges, for example, if you uh, never met your twin flame, but you're about to, but there's always something happening, uh, you have to, if it is, I mean, it doesn't have to be like a real twin flame, but if it, it is your opposite, uh, this challenging is just there to fortify you guys. So always remember this. Mm -hmm. It's very important. I wanted to give some examples with ourselves. Uh, what is the knowing about? and uh, we very often have dreams for each other um it's been about a year now that uh, i have been taking iodine 
and uh, I'm actually following the, a special protocol about this and uh, the the very first reason for this thing is Andre because he had a dream for me what I should do um, what um, is going to help me to feel better to overcome this condition that I have been having with low energy, hypothyroidism and stuff like this and it's been probably a year before I started the whole thing um, until I really tap into it and indeed uh, I can tell you that this is probably the best thing I have ever done for my physical state I went to quite a few doctors before that I've spoken about this in other videos and it's not so interesting right, right now but um, I went to some of the best doctors regarding this and no one could help me mm -hmm. but Andre just had a dream he woke up one day and he said you have to be taking iodine I was like what? everyone is saying I should not take iodine Hello from Canada. Hello from Bulgaria. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. It's so nice to see you. And uh, guys, uh, this is amazing. I don't even know how this works exactly, and I'm not the searching. connection. Yeah, I'm not searching for explanations. We really are not. We don't care. But uh, we very often have dreams about each other. What is going on with the other person or what is going to happen? Because we are also foreseeing future situations. I, it's, it's like this. When we get revelations for each other, it's quite encoded. And uh, sometimes, yeah. sometimes we don't really pay attention how important it is until we share. Because the one who has the revelation doesn't really know how it working until he shares or he, she shares and when the other person that is hearing uh, starts to to interpret uh, it comes out to be amazing and quite important or even if we don't really understand much later on it becomes like the most important thing that you have to do and this iodine dream I had about her was actually we took it for granted for a while yes <laughs> for, for a long, quite a while. For quite a while. And then it really hit <laughs> us like this. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very cool. <laughs> Someone said, you are both lovely people. I've been enjoying that you have been posting videos often. Yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, because we, uh, we have a ton of channels and we just were uh, all over the place. And we're like, okay, let's focus more just here, yeah. just here and thank that's you it. so that's much that. for the appreciation we it really means a lot to us yeah because we really went through a lot and um including people trying to put us down and stuff like this um and there is a reason for that all the all the titles we come up with on this channel, they are not uh, like this made up. It really is happening. Mm -hmm. Like 95% is happening to our lives. And uh, we just share with you so that you can find, you know, come out of the problem faster because we took longer. We, I wish we had someone else like us or whatever, you know, sharing their information and saying, wow, watch out for this, watch out for that, do this, do that, you know. Because uh, it, it is really tough. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. But it is goddamn beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. If you guys have any questions, we'll be happy to try to answer. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. We're not going to wait until midnight. Here we are in Bulgaria yeah. time. So basically... What is the time here now? Uh, now is... It's 10. 10, 11. And it's not... Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, it's 10, 11. So... It's two hours more than uh, UTC time. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like this. And uh, yeah. I just uh, had uh, last night a dream actually about uh, uh, it's a future sight. You know, I had my first future sight dream when I was three years old. And um, did you I, share with me this? Yes. I. Uh, 
when it came through my my dream i just knew i should not share with anyone because i knew that uh, the people around me they would not understand so it was pointless and it was okay i didn't mind i was three years old at that time i remember and um later on things have been happening in my life and stuff like this that i just knew there is no point to share with anyone why because uh, it is actually um a little bit of an illusion the thing of understanding each other it's very difficult to understand each other actually and to see from the point of view of the other person we can just try and manage to a certain extent uh, but because we are each one of us unique souls uh, it is impossible to 100% tap into the perception of the other person. However, I always knew about Andre, about his existence, and <laughs> he always knew about me. Well, I didn't... It, it's I mean, like we didn't know exactly how we look like, but yeah, we knew... Uh, that there is someone out there. Since a child, I, I just... I knew, knew this being was out there flying yes, around. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, since he appeared in my life, uh, there is no other person that knows me better than him. And we might, uh, you know, uh, do whatever to each other, love, hate, whatever. But uh, at the end of the day, it's always me who is going to help her, and it's gonna, and it is always her who is going, that is going to help me, mm -hmm. and that's it. There's no one else. I cannot go ask for help. <laughs> to anyone else except this being yes what? and me i can ask for help from other people but i know that um the true understanding that i have been always craving and searching for i will receive only from you and no one else mm -hmm. and you are the only one that knows and i love you and i love you too baby <laughs> 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 so it is good to trust your twin flame i would say to the fullest um this is the hardest part because that's where the ego comes and hits very strong mm. you just have to remember that your twin flame knows that's the point. Right. That's why we named this video like this. Because your twin flame knows. And you always, every time you're confused or something's not okay or whatever, just remember these words. Your twin flame knows. So mm -hmm. you can always trust. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, there is some trouble if you trust, uh, okay, I'm going to share with my twin flame. But if your twin flame is not okay, like psychologically on that day, it might intensify the problem but that's just how it works because you guys are opposite mm -hmm. so it's almost like uh, you guys are going to burn each other a little bit but if there's no challenge how can we grow we can all grow imagine to yeah. imagine to remain babies forever like children that have that are sucking on their thumb it's it's like this when you are with a person which which is not your opposite you are just gonna suck your thumb for the rest of your life Guys, 2022 is going to be a very crucial year for yeah. all of us. It's going to be tough. And we really need to focus our energies. And we really have to make an effort for mm -hmm. a change this time. Um, because if we don't initiate it this time to do the change ourselves, the change is going to come anyways. But it's going to be very brutal. So if we don't work for this change ourselves, uh, which means like following the intuition, the true signs for that, what uh, energy is taking us to do, uh, 
You know how when you are postponing something, you know deep inside of you that you should do something, but you're not going for it. And you just keep on postponing and postponing and postponing. And all of a sudden, things just strike. It's like an eruption. <laughs> and it's horrible. Yep. Quite it's horrible. very horrible. Because uh, only then we remember... Uh, and we are thinking, oh, I had the chance to change it back then, whenever, but I didn't do it. Why? What are we afraid of? It we is, had, it we had the hunch to do it at first and we postponed it and that's it. Exactly. You can never get it back. This opportunity to do something, if you feel it, just do it and you cannot postpone. If you postpone, you might not be able to get it back and mm -hmm. do it again. The life is in your hands. And no one else. You are the one who can decide what to do with it. To go for something or not. And uh, because energies are so in this coming year. A year which already came in some places. <laughs> um, that's why it is important to show our intention. Which direction are we taking? Yeah, we have to be careful now, from now on, all of us together as one. Uh, what intentions are we going to project for the next year? Uh, for example, there's some things in Bulgaria which is very uh, interesting. Don't throw your garbage on the 1st of January, but uh, if you have garbage to throw, just throw before that. No, my mom just read it somewhere. I know. It's not the typical Bulgarian okay. thing. Okay, but it doesn't matter. Your mom is... <laughs> 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 but I just wanted to say, to grab this, to tell you... Uh, you know, you have to really focus on the what intentions you're going to project for next year. Because mm -hmm. uh, we are getting more and more separated. You already know this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, if we are having egoistic approaches uh, for next year, then uh, imagine it's something so innocent, you know, it's just you having this thought, but there's so there's millions on earth. I mean, there's billions. And if one billion is egoistic, that's where we are going. Mm -hmm. We're going all in this direction. If uh, the twin flame thing has a point about something, it is about uniting. Yeah. Instead of separating. And it is enough of separation in this world. How it, many countries we have on earth? Imagine we were one country once upon a time. Just one nation. Mm -hmm. One single people. We have separated that much. On so... Uh, Many bases. We understand that uh, most of this separation happened on uh, uh, manipulation, but it doesn't matter. We are uh, we have to stand our ground. We cannot just, you know, listen to what others say and just mm -hmm. act like this. Mm -hmm. Exactly. I just wanted to say uh, in Portuguese because there's people that are coming as well that are speaking Portuguese. When the video is finished, there will be subtitles. I'm going to say in português. Uh, Bem-vindo a toda a gente que é português. Quando o vídeo terminar, vai ter uh, legendas em português. <laughs> Just to say a little bit. But yeah. Uh, another thing, probably you guys already heard uh, about knowing your twin flame, is uh, the Kundalini experience. Some of you are very aware of the Kundalini, others are not. And we made a few videos about Kundalini. We also have series about it. Kundalini is just the energy that is the opposite, in our opinion, to the higher self. So the higher self is on top, mm -hmm. Kundalini is down. And we have a video about your twin flame is your Kundalini and you are the higher self. She is, she is your, your Kundalini, Kundalini and he is your higher self. Yeah, and because uh, why? Because we are the opposite of each other. We have, I have Kundalini and higher self, just like you guys have, but... To each other, we have uh, the two energies m more predominant. Mm -hmm. And, uh, for example, one day I, uh, 
I already explained this, but I want to explain once more. Uh, we were uh, separated a little bit and I went to sleep on the we sofa. We had a fight. We had a fight. Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's speak properly. It's 22-22. Let me see here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. Um, so we had a fight. I went to the sofa and I was like, I'm going to sleep here in the sofa. I don't... I cannot. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was not laughing, of course, I'm just explaining to you, but I was like, you know, sad and angry. I'm like, I'm going to go to the sofa. I went to sleep. I was almost going to fall asleep and I just felt an energy and I knew it was a Kundalini, but not my Kundalini, her Kundalini. Like woke me up, but in a way that she was in my body. She was controlling my body and I woke up like this, like a snake, because the Kundalini is a snake. And then she disappeared. And I just felt, before she left, she said, go to sleep with Patty. And I'm like, so beautiful, because, uh, you know, it's like, uh, um, I mean, God, you know, knows what love really is. You know, I mean, I, mm -hmm. w w when we say God, not God, the one that writes the Bible, I'm just saying the energy that is everywhere, Kundalini, higher self, these are energies that, don't have as much ego. I mean, maybe they still have, but Petinia can <laughs> say. Yeah, they do, they do. They do have ego, but it's just a... Okay. Because they're the two extremes of the same energy, and this is where the ego is. The yes. ego is absent only on the void. This is a, a critical thing, because we... Uh, I used to think that humans on Earth, okay, except twin flames, perhaps, uh, they all have ego. The twin flames have less, and then God has none, okay? Uh, but we found out that everything has ego, everything. Mm -hmm. It's impossible for something not to have ego. So twin flames have, humans have, Kundalini, higher self, everything Only has. Only out of ego you can create such a big experiment like the Earth. Only out of ego you can stand your ground or and uh, claim what is yours. Only out of ego you can guide someone how can you guide someone without ego it's impossible a person without ego doesn't want to do anything mm -hmm. zero the higher self keeps on guiding each and one of us okay it has to have ego you cannot do out of exactly. without and um, actually each person here on earth has a very big ego there's not even a single person without big ego. It's just that for some the ego is on the high aspect, for, so, for others it's on the low aspect. But low ego is also big ego. Yes, that's the other thing. This is the biggest, one of the biggest illusions. I may make a video one day of the... Yes, it's top, better because... Top five illusions that we live in because we... We are coming with so many downloads, but we are not able to share everything. It's impossible. <laughs> and um, um, that's the only that's thing the... that's impossible. I'm sorry. To no, no. That's the only thing that's impossible on Earth. Everything is possible except a few small things. One of them is to share everything that uh, comes as downloads in the head and in the heart. Mm -hmm. It's just impossible because uh, there's. Three th there, there's two types of languages. One is uh, the, the words. Imagine to share all your thoughts with someone. Can you? I, I cannot. My thoughts skip from one to another so fast. It's, sometimes even me, I cannot keep track of them. Sometimes Andrea asks me, what are you thinking of? <laughs> How to explain it? I just had like 10 different thoughts for just 5 seconds. Mm-hmm jumping from thought to thought and if i have to record all of this no way no way but uh, yeah the big ego is something that we are constantly trying to let go of and the, but the, the, the reality is that uh, if you don't have ego you don't have individuality mm -hmm. And we all have individuality. We people have people on earth, they just got uh, either afraid or uh, they got like obsessed 
with the ego like it's an enemy or it's their best friend or mm -hmm. something like this we just have to chill out and it's like a small dog that we need to tame we have to accept it it's a part of us yeah it's like trying to run away out of my arm and example. there I don't is like some... my right right arm for instance so i'm not gonna use it i'm gonna run out of it i'm just gonna use the left <laughs> It just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Um, plus the reason we are speaking about Tigo is because this plays a, a big role on mm -hmm. Twin Flames, you know. We just have to go with balance for every single thing. As long as we don't overdo, we don't over-exaggerate. This is actually where things went wrong. Long time ago. When we started to overdo the things. But that's how the human brain operates. We give something new to the human brain and it just focuses on it. It grabs it like a, um, like it's a lifeboat. Like a sponge. Us. Yes. Grabbing what? To save us. So we have to see, try to be realistic about everything in our life, what serves us, what doesn't, and what we need. We don't need a lot in this life. I wish I could put some, my favorite uh, meditation music here a little bit, but Just the background. with the copyrights, it <laughs> doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yes. it's very cool. And uh, yeah. If you guys have uh, questions, you can ask now or when the video finishes, you can ask in the comments. We will try to reply as much as we can. Yes. If uh, we cannot reply in the comments, we will make a video about that. And uh, we wanted to wish you all an amazing new year. If you haven't seen my forecast, the energy forecast for next year yeah you can take a look check at it. it out it's a little bit more detailed i really hope that my sensations of the feeling for the next year are really coming through that it's gonna be a a much better a very warm and very prosperous year for each one of you. Yes, even though uh, things look a little bit ugly, but uh, Petya feels that some there is some yes. good things, some good vibes coming. Mm -hmm. So let's hope for the best. Plus, it's in our control. We are the ones deciding what we are about to do, right? So yep. I mean, not we, uh, all of us, we and you guys. Generally, <laughs> we need to um, take over, I guess. Not to let it just happen and let the others ride the, the boat alone. <laughs> we need to take over. Think of everyone as one big family. and uh, One big family which has... Each person is quite individual and yes, they I, need their space. I was just going to yeah, say, yeah. one big family in which everyone has their own thing. Because I am sure... If I ask each one of you about your families, that you will tell me that you have many different people in your families. And you have all kind of people in your families. Uh, members that you get along and members that you don't. Members that you understand and members that you don't. This is how the entire world is structured. And it's all the, the small families we have are actually a model, they're like a, a mini model of how we are all over the world. And it is okay to be like this, there's nothing wrong about that, as long as we don't blame each other for this and that, because there's no point for that. The best explanation for life that I ever found so far is the Tao, from the Taoism, it uh, really... Mm -hmm. It really is very cool because uh, maybe there is some extremes there I have, which I am not aware yet. But so far, 
from everything I, I hear, you know, the quotes and everything from Lao Tzu and stuff. It's very cool. Just the, the fact that everything is energy and we need to strive for the equilibrium. I guess that's mm -hmm. all we can say. Yes. But we all go through through crap. Even even we go. So uh, we are not perfect and you're not perfect either. And actually that's what makes us beautiful. That we are not perfect. If you ask us what we fight for, <laughs> we fight for stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> quite stupid. And if someone is looking at us, they will say, "What are they doing?" Like it's absolutely. If you guys were looking at us, they will say, "I don't understand. What is the point?" Like, mm -hmm. it's not worth it. But uh, it's like this. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be for in intelligent things. That's for sure. No, if it's for good, bad, uh, big things, no way we can fight. Like, absolutely no. We always come to. Uh, even if the one is not entirely uh, on the opinion of the other, we will always find the, the middle path where we both can find ourselves together. But <laughs> that's how we make our life interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby. Yes, baby. Shall we go? Yes. We leave you to have a wonderful evening, hoping that you are with your loved ones, but even if you're not, enjoy this time uh, for yourselves, that's also beautiful and very needed. Yes, and uh, pay attention to what you guys say to each other, because uh, we are always in need for uh, a suggestion, for help, for whatever. And uh, that's how we take care of each other. We have to listen to the small details. Sometimes we speak in small details to be able to uh, go through the relationship. It's not the big words that counts. It's really the small little things. Mm -hmm. I just want to wish to ourselves to fulfill all the things we have planned and uh, to make a difference this time okay <laughs> it shall be <laughs> <laughs> love you baby i love it too love you all love you all <laughs> happy new year happy new year good entries and uh kick it <laughs> <laughs> lots of love lots of love ciao ciao <laughs>